Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. I'm here listening to Hawaiian music and getting really excited that I'm going to be going to Hawaii next month. The other day, I think I mentioned something about having some difficulties. My family was planning a trip and um, anyway, all the difficulties are gone and they have a place and a car and airline tickets and I'm so excited to be going. And um, so in a month from now, when I do my Facebook Live, I'll be somewhere in Maui, just enjoying myself and relaxing. And I will be taking my essential oils with me. And one of those oils that I'm going to take with me, I'll be talking about today. Um, I may be taking some of the other ones, but um, there's one in particular that's great for travel. So um, while you're getting ready, um, sharing this with your friends, I'm also going to share with my friends. And um, I want to thank the live viewers for being here today. We've got some great information. We're going to be talking about Douglas fir and fennel, eucalyptus, frankincense, deep blue, digestin is a blend, and DDR Prime. So we're going to be talking all about those oils, what they do for you, how to use them. And... I can get down here. Here we go. Share this. And grab your pen and your paper so that you can take notes because you'll definitely want to refer back to this. And um, if you have any of the conditions that I'll be addressing, you'll have this in your notes. So, um, Douglas, whoops, for to DR Prime. All right. So let's go back over here. And um, let me make sure I do all of my business stuff. Oh, well, let me introduce myself. Um, for those of you who don't know me here um, on Wolf House Natural Living, my name is Melinda Heyer Getz, and I'm a natural wellness educator. And I am passionate about sharing these beautiful essential oils, um, health and wellness tips with you, things that I've learned over the years um, that I can, I'm continuing to learn. And I want to educate you so that you can feel comfortable making natural choices for yourself and your family and um, and use essential oils safely. Uh, essential oils are very safe to use, but you don't wanna overuse them and you just wanna be educated so that you know, you know, if you're having head tension, what, what oil can I use? Or if I'm having a tummy upset, what oil can I use? So I mean, I cover all of that here and that's why I'd like you to share this with your friends because it's such great information. So be sure to comment, and um, I will definitely get back to you on your comments. At any time, you can comment ABC to learn more. And is that showing? Show. There we go. Yeah, comment ABC, and that just lets me know that, um, that you're interested and that you want to learn more, and I can contact you um, you know, through Facebook Messenger um, or something like that. So definitely let me know that. And without further ado, we'll get started. So the first oil we're going to talk about is Douglas fir, and it is such a beautiful oil. What do they do with it? It's right here. <laughs> um, I put some in my diffuser, and if you love the smell of Christmas, you definitely want some Douglas fir. Uh, there is, in this five milliliter bottle, there's a Christmas tree, a whole Christmas tree. That's how much it takes um, to distill down into a five milliliter bottle. And this is sourced in New Zealand. We're actually helping New Zealand by 
Um, they have like a blight of Douglas fir. It was introduced somewhere in not too distant past and it has taken over and it um, doesn't allow any of the native plants to grow there. So um, we're actually working with them to you know, eradicate this problem. Uh, it's a beautiful smell. As I said, it smells like a Christmas tree and it's distilled from the branches and the leaves. And it gives off a, a clean, fresh, woody, airy um, feel and um, the aromatic smell. It promotes feelings of clear airways and easy breathing. So you can diffuse this oil when you're feeling um, like maybe that tightness of chest or um, maybe you're feeling, you know, tightness up here and you need to open up your airways. This is a great one for that. And plus it smells so good. You can cleanse and um, it's very cleansing and purifying to the skin. So you can, I was going to bring my lotion, but anyway, if you have, um, you know, whatever lotion that you're using on your face, you can add a drop of Douglas fir to that and put it on your skin. It promotes a positive mood and a sense of focus. So no wonder we're so happy at Christmas time when we have a Douglas fir in our house and it's just giving off that beautiful aromatic smell. This is uh, an oil that you can use aromatically, topically and internally. So I want to show you these are the veggie caps i mentioned them last week there we go veggie caps and this is what it looks like so you're just going to take the top off and you're gonna you're gonna drop i actually there's not enough in here to drop in here so i'm going to oil i'm gonna grab my fennel which i'm going to be talking about um, in just a sec so fennel is also an internal oil. So while we're here, I'm going to show you this. So you can put like a drop in there. You could chuck maybe two drops. And then you want to grab your fractionated coconut oil. That's your, your um, medium chain triglyceride. And you're just going to fill it up. that and then you're going to put the cap back on and then you're going to just go ahead and take that um, with a glass of water so that's what it looks like you can't you can hardly see the liquid in there but there it is and um, you can make them up ahead of time but not too far ahead of time so like say you were um, making some veggie caps for immune support, you could make up a day's worth and then the next day make up some more. They last, you know, a couple of days, but they, those are veggie caps. So um, they are going to, you know, break down because that's what they're supposed to do. Um, so uh, one of the things I also like to do with the Douglas fir is to combine it with grapefruit. It's really pairs well with grapefruit and I make up a salt scrub with olive oil and fractionated coconut oil. And then I, you can use it in the bathroom as a scrub. You can use salt or sugar. Um, this one's a salt scrub. And um, I like to keep it by the kitchen sink. And then like once a day, I'll just take like a little tiny spoonful and rub it into my hands and then wash that off and then it moisturizes my hand and it smells really good and it's good therapeutically. You can also combine one to two drops of Douglas fir with wintergreen for a relaxing massage. And let me grab that fennel back because I'm gonna need that. So the next one we're going to talk about is eucalyptus. This is the eucalyptus. And, well, what do you think it smells like? It smells like a eucalyptus grove. It smells like the spa. I mentioned last week, um, was it last week or was it when I did my, um, I think it was when I did my webinar about movement. 
uh, back a long time ago when I was like in my late teens, I had a gym membership at Jack LaLanne Spa. And one of the things I loved was um, they had a, a hot tub, like steam room hot tub thing. And they had eucalyptus in there. So you went in there and you got that wonderful aroma of eucalyptus after your workout. And it just helped open up the airways and um, it's made your you know muscles feel really good. Ah, love it. So this is also steam distilled uh, from the leaf of the eucalyptus. And uh, it, the aromatic description is camphoraceous and airy. And if you've ever smelled eucalyptus, you know what that camphoraceous smell is. Um, it just, well, I don't know how else to describe it. It's good. Uh, it's definitely going to support um, opening your airways. So again, if you have any sort of respiratory issues, you can put this in your diffuser. You can combine it with a carrier oil or make a carrier lotion, rub it on your chest. Um, you can place one or two drops in your hand and um, inhale like this. And that's going to be really, really nice to um, to open the airways and to clear the mind. You can place a few drops in the morning shower or you can even make a, a little spray bottle. You can mix it with um, you can mix it with water, I guess, um, you know, maybe in a four ounce spray bottle. Fill that with water and put about 10 drops of eucalyptus in there um, or more, however much you want. And then you can spray the wall a couple times and then the steam is going to make that lovely eucalyptus smell um, go while you're in the shower. And really start your day off nice, wake up the brain. And also you can add one drop to moisturizer and apply to skin for revitalizing benefits. So it seems like uh, the Douglas fir and the eucalyptus are also good mates. Now, this is one that you can use aromatically and topically, but not internally. And it's um, when you're using it uh, topically, you want to dilute it, uh, definitely dilute for young um, or sensitive skin. And I'm so hot right now. It's like really hot here. And that's why I keep pushing my glasses up because I'm sweating. Uh, um, so what I've learned, um, by following Dr. Eric Z is that really you should always dilute because these are such potent and powerful oils and they're not, they're not diluted with anything. Um, doTERRA doesn't dilute them or alter them in any way. So you're getting the pure essential oil. So by diluting it um, and then putting it on your skin, you're not going to be, you know, adding too much in one place, you know, overwhelming your system at all. Um, now you can also make an essential body wash with the um, eucalyptus and um, you can go on the doTERRA.com blog and just type in natural body wash and there's a little DIY recipe for you there. So the next one we're going to talk about is fennel. So I just used that one a second ago. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love, love, love that smell. To me, this smells like licorice. Mm. It's steam distilled from the seed and um, this can be used in cooking. And so um, a lot of, I, I was taught that you don't ever want to heat essential oils. But what I learned is that any oil that's been steam distilled can can be heated, so it can be used for cooking. The, the heat is not going to take away the therapeutic benefit. It's already been heated to get it into this form. So um, that was really interesting to me. I, I didn't know that until recently. Um, taken internally, you can promote healthy digestion. You could also um, dilute this with some uh, oil of your choice, a carrier, olive oil or fractionated coconut oil, um, jojoba, sweet almond oil, um, a variety of, you know, of choices um, or 
a lotion, an unscented lotion, and you can put that right on your stomach for, um, or your, you know, your intestines to <laughs> promote um, healthy digestion. And it may help promote healthy metabolic liver function and circulation. And it also may help the support of your lungs and the respiratory tract. And I think that you can smell it. To me, this does smell like something that would definitely support um, you in those areas. And then this is another one you can apply to skin for a calming and soothing effect. So as I've mentioned before, and I will say it again, just in case you're new to the broadcast, um, there are a lot of oils that are that have the same um, therapeutic properties. And just like we are all individuals, we're each going to have a different response to different oils. So if, if you go for fennel and it doesn't provide the effect that you want, you could try the eucalyptus or you could try the Douglas fir or a variety of oils for, you know, what you're looking for, whether it's the respiratory support or the skin or whatever. So, um, just because one oil doesn't work doesn't mean nothing will work. And um, something may work for a while. And then based on your, your hormonal changes, change in diet, um, your age, you know, just different things that happen, that oil may uh, start to not become as effective. It, it may continue to work. But just know that if something stops working, then that's kind of a clue to go look for a, a new oil to try to support that issue. Okay, so um, fennel can be used aromatically, topically, and internally. And you do want to dilute it. It's, it's considered S for sensitive. And as I just mentioned, um, really just always diluting. Um, you can pretty much avoid that. You can always do a skin patch test um, on the inside here. You can just put like not even a whole drop. And with just within minutes, you're going to know whether an oil is going to bother you or not. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be something that's gonna show up in a couple of days. It's gonna be very, very quick. Um, the next one is my favorite. Nope, that's not it, frankincense. So um, frankincense, hmm, Boswellia. Hmm, I'm gonna move that off for now. And um, so this is steam distilled from the resin, the resin of the Boswellia, the Carteri, the yeah Carteri, the Freriana, and the Scara. Frankincense trees. So, you know, like everything has a Latin name, and that means that it's um, like a different gene, I guess. Don't quote me on that. But um, it, we have the four different types of frankincense in this this one oil, and it's warm, spicy, and clean, and um, I would say definitely very earthy. At first, when I first smelled it, I was like. Oh, that's frankincense. Okay, what's the big deal? But um, I've really grown to love it. And I think that our bodies are attracted to and, and they grow to love the oils that benefit them. And um, this is definitely an oil that benefits my body. And um, it's also an oil that you can pair with all of the other oils and it really enhances the effect of those oils. So um, some of the benefits are that you can take uh, one to two drops in a veggie cap, like I showed you earlier, to support healthy cellular function. After a day out of outdoor activity, you can massage some frankincense into your hands and feet for a warming and soothing effect. And then you can add it to moisturizer or lotion to reduce the appearance of blemishes and to rejuvenate the skin. And uh, frankincense is... Um, Definitely one that is promoted as really being great for your skin. So um, ladies, people who spend a lot of time out in the sun, 
um, you know, my dad was a fireman and he's kind of got like some really interesting things going on with the skin on his arms from being a sunbather and having been a fireman. Um, so he uses frankincense on his arms to get, keep what he calls his carbuncles um, under control. <laughs> so um, you can combine two teaspoons of betonite clay, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, and one drop frankincense, lavender, and melaleuca essential oils for a nourishing clay mask. Doesn't that just sound wonderful? Just the whole process of making that and then putting it on sounds amazing. Um, this it can be used aromatically, topically, internally, and can be used neat. Um, now, when you use it to for diff, uh, in your diffuser, it's gonna help promote um, feeling, you know, it's gonna lift your mood. And it can also help, um, you know, calm your mood when you're feeling, um, you know, tense about things. It's also a great one uh, to use for meditating. You could dilute it when you're doing yoga to just kind of get in that really peaceful place. So um, frankincense is our king of oils. And we love, we love Frank. I love Frank. So um, that's that one. So now we're going to move on to, we've got three uh, blends that we're going to cover today. And don't forget to comment um, ABC if you um, want more information, if you want to find out how to get these oils. Um, yeah, just remember, comment ABC. And give me some likes and hearts, you know, um, those, those really let me know that you're enjoying the information that you're getting, that it's hitting home, that you're getting something out of it and go ahead and share with your friends. So let's see, do we have deep blue? Oh, you know what? Oh my goodness. I was going to, where is it? Hold on just a second, you guys. I thought I was showing you these oils and I haven't been trying them to you, I'm so sorry. So we're gonna add that to the broadcast. There's frankincense. And um, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'll just be on one side and, and the oils will be on the other side. I just want you to see what the oil looks like. And I'm gonna go back here to the beginning. So there's, there's Douglas fir. And there, as you can see, is the branch with the, the, uh, the needles. And that's what it's distilled from. And then we have eucalyptus, which is distilled from the eucalyptus leaf. We have the fennel and the seeds, and there's a little fluff of fennel there, and then frankincense. And that, that's what the frankincense resin looks like. It's really interesting. Um, this is um, sustainably sourced in Somalia, and um, they, they go out and they, um, the workers um, have this like, it almost looks like a putty knife. <laughs> And they kind of chop at the bark and and then they leave and and then the the bark um, or the, uh, the the resin oozes out and then after it oozes out it hardens into these little um, like rock like looking things and then they come back the next day uh, you know with their their pouches or um, baskets or whatever they're gonna uh, harvested into and then they they chop it off with that like that so that's how it's done and we're doing a really great thing there because we're supporting the people of Somalia the the, the people who you know own the frankincense trees for many many years um, historically they were not treated well they weren't paid well and when doTERRA came in we started working directly with the growers, um, uh, these, the, the trees are, are really, really old and they're passed down in, from family member to family members. So um, anyway, we just started working with them directly and making sure that they get paid 
throughout the year, paid a fair wage and um, are being well taken care of. So that's kind of neat too. All right, so deep blue. I've got the, the deep blue here to show you. I do have one of the rollers. I don't have it here with me right now, but, and then we also have the deep blue rub. So deep blue is something I use quite often. And um, as you know, I was having some serious um, back pain, like hip pain. And, um, and then sometimes my, my left rotator cuff gets achy. Um, it's something that started um, after I had kids because I always hold them up on my left side. And um, so deep blue is an oil that I definitely use a lot. Um, it's a blend of wintergreen, camphor, peppermint, ylang ylang, helichrysum, blue tansy, blue chamomile, and osmanthus essential oil. And that blue tansy, uh, I talked about when I did my A's and B's of essential oils, it's um, a very blue oil. And so you'll notice that when you put a drop of this um, in your hand, it's got a blue tinge to it. It's got a minty and camphoraceous smell. Mmm, it has that, you know, um, kind of that icy hot smell. And when you put it on, oh, it feels so good. And I, I love the smell. Um, you know, not everybody likes it, but it is very, very effective. So you can rub deep blue on your lower back muscles after a day of heavy lifting at work or um, during a move or after you've been out in the garden. And you can actually put it on before you do all of that heavy work. And that's going to help loosen up your muscles um, to help you perform better and so that you're not so sore afterward. But definitely put it on after. Um, when I've gone on, you know, like really big hikes, I definitely use the deep blue. Now, although you don't want to use it if you're hiking in the Sierra and planning to camp where the bears are, because they will definitely want this. It's, it's a very potent smell. Um, it's perfect for a soothing massage. I just apply it on your feet and your knees before and after exercise. So, you know, uh, if a friend of mine who runs uh, half marathons likes to use the deep blue rub, and um, this one is used topically only. You, you don't really have, there's no purpose in um, diffusing it and you definitely wouldn't take it internally. And um, it, it gets an S for sensitive. So you definitely want to dilute it. And um, an essential oil tip that goes along with um, Deep Blue, which is our soothing blend, is um, with a few drops of carrier oil, uh, before bed, you can rub that onto your your kids' legs when they're in like that those growing phases, and that can help them, you know, when they're having those those growing issues. You know what I mean. So the next one is Digest Zen. Yeah, let me grab. So we have quite a few products that are in the Digest Zen line. This is, of course, our Digest the digestive blend um, and I have here the digest tabs and I'm going to do a whole um, like maybe one or two um, of my shows will be about the supplements that we have but I just wanted to mention that we do have the digest tabs and these are really effective um, I tend to get an upset tummy if I've um, eaten certain foods sometimes even coffee or if it was maybe too spicy or um, bell peppers, definitely kind of give me that irpy, uncomfortable feeling. So the digestive tabs were great. Um, or the digestive blend. Oh, let me turn that around. There we go. So um, this, of course, is a blend of um, ginger, peppermint, caraway, coriander, anise seed, tarragon, and fennel seed. And it's um, got a spicy, sweet, minty, licorice smell because it's got anise and fennel in it. Oh, I love it so much. Mm. Um, you can uh, definitely take it internally um, by using the veggie cap so that. 
a really great way to take it. You can use a carrier oil and just um, rub it directly on your stomach or up your esophageal tract for help with that. Um, you can add it to water or tea to maintain a healthy gastrointestinal tract. It helps to reduce bloating, gas, and occasional indigestion. And you can have it on hand when enjoying heavy holiday meals to promote digestion. Now, I told you earlier that I'm going to be going to Hawaii, and I'm going to be taking Digest Zen with me. This is a really great one to take when you're traveling. If you get any kind of like motion sickness or if you're going to be trying new foods that you're not familiar with, you know, sometimes that can cause some stomach upset. So travel, digest in. Definitely want to take that. And on guard, which I'll talk about in, I don't know, a few weeks probably. Um, so that's digest in. And you can use it aromatically, topically, and internally. It can be used neat, which means you don't have to dilute it, but um, I recommend just dilute it anyway, and um, and then you won't have to have any issues. You can use it up oh, during a road trip to keep uh, calm. And my kids have used this, excuse me, especially when you're like going up into the mountains and you're going all over the place, and you know they start to turn green. Pull over, get some fresh air, put some digest zen on, and it really helps. And then our last oil is DDR Prime. And this is a, an oil that comes in a really big bottle. Oh, let me show you that. So here's, so we have three, three sizes of bottles, right? Some oils come in a five milliliter bottle. Some come in a 15 milliliter bottle. This one is a big guy. It comes in 30 milliliters. So um, it's the only one that comes in this size. And it's um, the essential oil cellular complex. So it's got a blend of lemongrass, wild orange, clove, frankincense, summer savory, thyme, and uh, nyao. And um, a couple of the key benefits are that it supports healthy cell proliferation and lifespan. It supports the body's natural antioxidant defense system, and it supports healthy cellu cellular apoptosis and renewal. And I just want to remind you that um, none of these statements have been approved um, by the FDA and we don't claim to, you know, cure, treat any kind of disease or anything like that. Um, I just have to say that, it's my little disclaimer. So um, a couple of the oils that are uh, unique to DDR Prime are the summer savory, which we don't care that we don't carry it as a, a single oil and it doesn't show up in any of our other oils, um, oil blends. But this oil, uh, Summer Savory, supports proper cellular responses to oxidative stress. And then the Nioli supports healthy cellular immunity. And I didn't say that right earlier. I said meow. <laughs> it's Nioli. I'm sorry. Um, and let's see, what else have we got on that one? So this is one that you can use topically and internally, but you're not going to um, diffuse it. You're not going to use it aromatically. It's just for internal and topical use. And um, it gets an S for sensitive, so if you do use a topic, definitely be sure to dilute it. And if you take it internally, you can put it in a, a gel cap uh, with the fill, and then, you know, a couple drops in the gel cap. Actually, I think it says four drops. So you would use four drops in a gel cap, fill the gel cap with um, fractionated coconut oil, and then take that down with a glass of water. And um, I think you can use this twice a day. Isn't that why? Yes. Four drops two times a day. Yeah, that's why they give you the big bottle so that you get, you know, you can use it for a whole month. And um, it's just really going to 
support your overall, you know, cellular system. And um, so for topical use, um, you can use it for a soothing massage. And then you can add one to two drops to citrus drinks, tea, or water to support a healthy response to free radicals and protect the body and cells from oxidative stress. Now, another key thing that I learned about taking oils internally, especially when you're um, uh, like going to put it in water or something like that, you know, water and oil don't mix. So if you're just going to drink it down, then I, that'd probably be okay. But um, what you can do is use the liquid stevia and put a, you know, a few drops in your glass and then put your drops of DDR prime in there and then mix that around. And then it mixes with the stevia. And then you can, you know, have your tea or your juice or your water, whatever it is. And then it's, it's going to get all mixed in there and, and go to work. So, um, yeah, add it to your daily routine. So those are the oils. Again, we covered Douglas fir, fennel, um, eucalyptus, frankincense, deep blue, digestin, and DDR prime. And if you're just hopping on, go back and watch the replay and take notes and then um, send some comments to me and ask your questions and then comment ABC to learn more. And I'll contact you and we can talk about, um, we can set up a, a clarity call where I can talk with you one-on-one. -on -one. And um, if you want to book that right now, you can go to... You can go to wolfhouse.us and click on my booking tab, and you can um, book a clarity call there. And um, and then that way I can find out specifically like what your issues are. I can kind of go over the the basics with you, and um, and then if you want to buy something, you can, but you don't have to. It's a free call, and I'm happy to help. So. Um, that's it. Oh, now um, on Monday, I'm going to be launching uh, a campaign called Spoil Yourself. And so I'm telling you guys ahead of time that when you sign up, I'm looking for five people to spoil. I think I put eight on there. I don't know. If eight people sign up, it'll that's fine. I, I have enough. But what I'm going to do is when you register, I am going to send you this great little card which has um, information about um, the deep blue rub. You're going to get a sample of that. You're going, and I couldn't find my sample uh, before I got on here today, but you're going to get a little sample, and you can see from this picture, yeah, you get this little sample right here. You're going to get a sample of On Guard, and then you're going to get... Um, four of these little sample bottles with essential oils and they are peppermint, wild orange, lavender, and balance so that you can have the oils and the products and experience them. And then on February 26th, I'm going to have a Facebook class based on this spoil yourself campaign. And we're going to go over all of those oils and you're going to get to try them during the class and it's going to be great. And I really, I really want to do that. So um, you'll get all of these. Um, I'll ship these to you in the mail ahead of time so that you have them for the class and they'll come in a cute little bag and, and you can use those to keep that. So um, right now, if you want to be sure to be included in that campaign, then you can comment spoil, and I will be sure to um, send you a Facebook message, um, you know, so that you don't miss out in case, you know, you don't see the post come up or something happens. So I'll make sure.
here. So comment spoiled. Now this is for people who have not, don't have a doTERRA account and they're not working with another doTERRA wellness advocate. Uh, Cause I don't want to take anyone else's um, client away. And I just want to work with new people who are experiencing this for the first time. So, um, so if you're already a doTERRA, you know, you already have an account, then I'm sorry, I'm not going to send you my free samples. Um, and then one last time, go ahead and comment ABC to learn more. Thank you for being here. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. And, um, oh, I know, I wanted to tell you to make sure that you turn on your notifications so that you receive my updates. And I'll be back next week with more essential oils in the ABCs. So we, we're done with um, A, B, C, D, E, F. So we're gonna start with G, like geranium. And we'll see how far we can go on that. I usually try to do seven uh, each week. Okay, thank you so much for being here. My name is Melinda Heyer Getz. I am a natural wellness coach with both House Natural Living. And I look forward to continuing to empower you to make natural wellness choices for you and your family. Have a great day. Aloha.